As photographers, one of the biggest barriers that we have to punch through is learning to see creatively. Now, once we punch through that barrier, the possibilities are endless. Hi, I'm Ray Scott, and welcome to Visual Art Photography, where today we're going to take a look at a subject that is very common, something that we pass by almost every day, a fence. And we're going to look at five different ways to use fences creatively to create really interesting images. As always, your comments and questions can be addressed down below. Five different ways to use fences creatively. Here's number one. Using a fence as a leading line, something that brings you in to the photo, is our first tip today. It's a very effective way to draw the viewer's eye through the photo. Again, a way to bring the viewer in. Lines don't necessarily have to be straight either. They can be curved, as is the case here. As you look along this canal and you have that black fence that helps to lead you in to the frame. Or here on this dilapidated boardwalk, fences on either side help to lead you in to the frame. Always interesting when you're doing this kind of thing, when you're using a fence as a creative tool to bring the viewer in, usually comes in from the side, and here is no exception as the fence comes in from the right-hand side and leads you to the left. Here again, dilapidated house, but look at the fence leading you in, leading you into the frame. Another way, tip two for using fences creatively, often things are growing on the fence, as is the case here with these vines that have flowers in them as well, growing on the fence. And you can do something else with it too, like maybe turn it into a bit of a painting. You can do that too. It's up to you. Or move in closer for a different effect. Often things are growing out of the cracks of the fence, as is the case here with these spirea growing out of the fence. You could be walking by past this by and not even think twice about it, but why not use it creatively? Or here, things growing in back of the fence. In this case, this is a panoramic of a fence with roses, wild roses growing in back of the fence. Again, growing in back of the fence, growing over the top of the fence. Speaking of the top of the fence, how about this heavy, sticky snow adhering to the fence? Or maybe a, a closer in look, and you see the snow there. Or, as is very common, flowers or different other types of vegetation growing in front of the fence. So what we're doing here is we're using the fence creatively as a backdrop. So that's tip number two. Let's not forget this one. Uh, sometimes things get stuck on a fence. Now this is a just a frost fence, you know, it's not very attractive metal fence, but some high wind blew these leaves onto this fence and they stuck there. And I was using a very shallow depth of field. I think it was F4 so that you can't see what's in back. And what actually is in back of that is a baseball field. Okay, because this fence was surrounding the baseball field. But you use the fence creatively with these leaves and you come up with something like that. Tip number three, you can also use a fence as a frame. And in this case, we're using this bicycle path fence. It's like a, a bridge, if you will. And we're framing the cyclist. Again, as a frame, a small little fence, but we're kind of framing that very old bicycle in the background. So that's tip three, using a fence as a frame. Or tip four, look for something kind of whimsical or colorful or funny or something unusual. And in this case, in front of this house, obviously the fence is a little bit different. Or here, lots of graffiti, a basketball net, lots of different wild colors, vines. It's a riot of different things going on, but that's a fence in a back alley. Or this, someone's decided to take bottle tops and stick them to the to the fence so again 
something very, very unusual. That's tip number four. And tip five, back to that bicycle bridge type of thing. Look for fences that are incorporated in a different shape. Now there's one down below, which is moving you in. That's that line, that leading line leading you into the frame. But this circular thing up top with the fence going around, that's using fences as a bit of a shape too, or something like this. I hope this video gave you some new ideas and maybe some new appreciation for fences. Until next time, I'm Ray Scott reminding you, it's not what you see, it's how you see it. And I'll see you soon.